Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Chinta. I hope all of you are doing exciting mathematics. Today, I want to show you how Chinta students are using our problem solving software for Olympiads and ISI CMI entrances. So this particular software is quite interesting. It's a very simple but effective tool to give you some extra practice every day. I'll show you around if you have not seen this before. If you are an internal student of Chinta, please ask the admin to give you access to this system. It's still in a better version, so there are some glitches in the software, but you will get an early access. All right. So it, I'll give you some stats for the in, the in the beginning. In the month of April, for example, around 3,000 problems were solved in this system. 3,000 problems were solved by hundreds of Chinta students in the, in the month of April. In the month of May, we are at 2,000 mark. We will probably, you know, overtake 3,000 in the month of May. It depends on the amount of work that the students do. Um, the number of students is always around 50 to 100 who are actually attending these problems. So if I zoom in a little bit, you will see that almost every day around 50 to 300, 50 to 250 problems are getting solved in the system. It's still in a very early stage in a beta version, but hundreds of students are actually using it and they are learning through it. Um, I'll just give you one example. Let's say this particular kid, Aparna. Uh, I don't know who she is. She might be an external student as well. She has been using this system. And, um, oh, she is in the trial phase, I see. She is an internal student, actually. So, she solved, I see that she solved 70 problems. She attempted 70 problems and solved 66 of them, which is pretty good. And... There is some granular insight into her progress over the last few days that, is, that she has been working on this system. Uh, for example, we see the overall progress, the strength and weakness. And you can also see the module-wise progress, geometry, number theory, combinatorics, each module. For example, our progress in geometry is 2.32%. And once I click on different modules, let's say number theory, let's say combinatorics, I can see topic-wise progress as well. This gives a very good idea about the progress of the child and the student can also see this and they can take action on it. They can learn a topic they, where they are making less progress. They can, you know, feel good and understand what the topics that they are doing well. So, this gives you a real-time data on your current state of knowledge which is very important, okay? It also gives you a sense of how much work that you can do every day. We recommend that you work for at least 15 minutes every day, one five. But uh, as we can see that this particular kid has worked five minutes on 15th of May, approximately 88 minutes on 18th of May and 56 minutes on 19th of May. So she has been working quite a lot, of course, over a period of time, we suggest that at least 15 minutes or more would be great. Okay, so what are the key uses of this software? So let's go to the main site. So this is paniniai.com. You can log in with your Google account. And once you log into the system, in the central console, you'll be able to see the next question. It's sort of the challenge. It also shows what module this question is from. Uh, this is from geometry. This has a difficulty level of 2 and a marks associated with it. So if I hit on start, you can see the question here right away. You can also see the hint if the hint is available. Sometimes it is available. And you can try the problem in your notebook and then plug in the answer here. Of course, you cannot skip immediately because that would be kind of stupid, right? If you continuously skip questions. So what we have done is we have made sure that you can skip the question only after trying it for at least three minutes. In this way, you get to spend some time with the problems. The algorithm actually throws problems at you and it adapts with your problem-solving ability. 
So it's a very interesting thing that we are trying to do at the back end. We are improving those algorithms day by day. And uh, over a period of time, we I think we can get a better sense of how the student is doing and what problems will help the student more. Okay, so that's the first part. That's the practice console or the play console where you can actually solve one problem after another. The second important functionality is the get help section. This is particularly useful for internal students. Of course, if you are an internal student, you are already asking doubt problems in the doubt solving sessions or the homework classes or the concept classes or the five problem solving classes that happen every week. You have a chance to talk to the faculty member directly. That's great. But if you have some additional questions that you can and want to you know, ask to the community and to the teachers in general, not in the class necessarily, maybe you are solving something and you want to post a quick doubt, then there is this get help section where you can go. And as soon as you go to the get help section, you will see many students have posted many doubts. There are a ton of doubts the students have posted over the time. And uh, let's see this particular question. Aditya, there is a student who has been posting this particular question. And let's see if there is a solution given to it. Yeah. So I see that a faculty member has responded to this particular question. And the good news is you can actually input math here. So you can use the LaTeX a language called LaTeX. So I'll just show it to you. Uh, there is a place to write math. So let's say if I write integration of 1 to 2 e to the power x dx. What is the value of this? What is the value of this? So if I go to the preview section, you'll see it will display the math. So it's a LaTeX enabled uh, software. You know, we are also working on a chat software where you can, it's like WhatsApp, where you can actually input math. Uh, we, we also want to integrate LLMs with it so that it can give you certain amount of insight on the problem, even if there is no human response to it. So um, that will give you sort of an immediate sort of results. And we are trying to do this by fine tuning the existing LLMs like Llama 2 and uh, other models. Let's see how that works out. Uh, we are extremely excited about this problem solving, uh, this software development. Many of the students at Chinta are actually working in this as interns. This can go really well with the profile building process as well. Because if you have, if you are a student of mathematics or computer science or physics, and if you're also working on something real like this particular software, you're working on the algorithm part, you're working on the problem development part, a lot can a lot of value is added to your profile. I think it's really great. So if you are a student of Chinta, you should definitely try some of these projects that go on at Chinta all the time. All right. So I hope you understood what we are trying to do here. Please, if you are an internal student, please keep on solving problems. If you are having doubts, ask doubt questions. And um, hopefully more and more people will join this software system and we will be able to add more problems interesting problems so that you can keep on practicing every day okay all the best keep on solving great problems i'll see you in the next one bye